water, science experiment, and what you will need in this is food coloring, water, empty cups, a spoon to stir the food coloring. You'll need a paper, napkin, or like any type of napkin, and you'll need this. And I'm gonna first tell you how to make this, okay? So first, what you will take is a big one if you have them, okay? Then you're gonna fold it in half, okay? And then cut it. Then you will have this, okay? Then you will take it like this and put it right here, okay? It doesn't matter what size and it should not come over the water. You see this? So what you're going to do is take this and look at this, it's not too much over the water. What you will do is snip it off so it reaches the size of this. And at the, watch the whole video and at the end, I'm gonna tell you why this walking water science experiment works. So stay tuned and watch all my other videos. So first you're gonna take water and pour it into the cups until it's like halfway full. And when you're doing this, you should keep skipping a cup. Okay. So after you got all the cups in water, and when we water, you mean water, then you need to skip a cup, water, then you need to skip a cup, water, you need to skip a cup, and then water. So now I'm going to take my food coloring. Now we're going to stir the food coloring. So now we're going to take our paper napkins or paper towels, well not towels, just these regular paper napkins what you're going to do is place it into each cup. Now what we're going to do is wait. And you may notice that it may already start to be coming up. So what we're going to do is wait for some time. So now it's been three hours and you can already see they're starting to come in shape. And if you can see here, it's red. Then there's orange, like you can see a little bit of orange. Then there's yellow. Then there is a little bit of green, if you can see. Then there's blue, purple, and red. And if you're wondering why there's red, there's red for a thing. You see, the blue just can't make the purple all by itself, so it needs somebody to help him. And that is red, so it can make purple. And another thing why there's red is also it restarts the process. The red goes here, restarts the process in a circle. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and red again. So in this, we're going to wait a little bit more and wait until the process is fully done.
Wow, this is so colorful. And there's rainbow water. I wonder how this made. Do Can you want, want to know, know why this water. rainbow walking water happens? Yes. And after seven hours or eight hours, this is the result. The rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, blue purple, purple, red. Yeah, red is just to make the color purple. Okay? And one thing you may have been observing is the whole towel is wet. If you can see. And I'm going to tell you why this was happening. It's called capillary action. And capillary action is when there's space, for example, the towel or tissue paper, it absorbs the water and carries it here. But why does it absorb the water? Because when there's air in it, the air when the air is coming out, the water comes in its place and takes to the other cup. And let me give you for example so you may understand it better. You know why when you blow from a straw, why does the milk come up? The milk comes up because of capillary action too. And capillary action is when you're blowing, the air is removing away into your mouth. And when the air is has removed, what comes in its place? The milk. So this happens because of capillary action. And here's the final result of the walking water. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. We made the whole rainbow. Yay! Yeah, we made the rainbow. Please subscribe, like, and share, and give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> and thumbs up.